Hello, happy Easter. It's probably not Easter when you're watching this, but it's Easter today. My hair has not been done yet. I did have a new pair of earrings I put on. I'm not sure if I'm feeling them yet. I think they're cute, like the color. Um, I guess I should do an outfit of the day of some sorts. I got these shoes for um, prom. No, I'm obviously not in high school. I am way past that. But I'm chaperoning prom and I'm trying to break them in, so. I've been trying to wear them. Not the best at wearing heels, but I'm working on it. Okay. And then I have um, a few things from Abercrombie. If I just, you know, go show you the full length mirror, that'd probably be the easiest option here. But, and I'm sure you wanna see the baby kitty. Chester's hiding, so I can't show you him. So this top is just from Abercrombie. Um, a brown belt and these Abercrombie like mom style jeans, which I did have to, do you hear that sound? That is the sound of our fire alarm going off and it is Easter today. So um, I can't call maintenance because I don't think they're coming and I don't have double or D volt batteries, whatever. I think Anthony's gonna try to go to the store and get some of those because that is so annoying and there's no way I'll be able to sleep with that. So anywho, um, lighting, this is a little better. Outfit of the day, very messy over here. And yeah, I'm loving these. Sam Edelman. I got them from Dillard's. These are the only place I could find these with like the scallop. So if you want a yellow heel, I recommend them. But again, also, I don't wear heels. So comfort wise, like they're not the easiest to walk in yet, but they're also not uncomfortable. I have a haul coming, an Abercrombie and haul actually this is bloomingdale's i'm still deciding if i want to keep it or not i kind of got them for the earrings but this is a mess right now <gasps> there you are Hello, buddy. this is oliver if any of you haven't met him yet i did a video on him he is the sweetest little baby ever very very rowdy but sweet and he loves chasing chester around yes you do speaking of cats I haven't done it yet because obviously I'm about to show it to you guys. Oh my god, that noise. But I got a couple of cat DNA tests and I know you're thinking it's a Persian, you know that. One, I don't know for sure if they're full Persian because I just got them off of like um, non-registered sites, you know, Hoobly, Craigslist, and they didn't come with papers. They just, they look like Persians. I'm saying they're a Persian, but they also, go into their health details, which for me is like the biggest excitement because they're probably gonna be mainly Persian, like for real. If you have a normal cat, which most people do, and that's what I grew up with my whole life, and like my parents have a normal cat, um, that would be the part where you can go and find some really interesting things as far as what breeds they are. Um, but for me, like I said, the main thing is with their health and all the stuff that comes in with it. Um, I'm still excited. I have a feeling they aren't like full Persian because they're doll face and they don't have as scrunch of a face as the normal Persians do, but I'm not like super knowledgeable on the breed. Maybe, maybe they are. We will see though because <laughs> I'll do a full video review, don't worry. One of the main reasons I have not been filming for the past couple weeks is because I went through a really weird stint a vertigo and I've never had it before so any of you that do have vertigo will know exactly what I mean when the first time you get it it feels like you're probably gonna die it's just the strangest feeling I was I think five days straight I just like I couldn't drive I couldn't do anything the world was just spinning around me but like overall I felt healthy aside from the fact that like my brain and like my head wasn't functioning right so I was like kept calling myself down like you're not dying it's fine um and i'm not i just have a weird inner ear issue so i've actually had it since i was little not the vertigo but like um my hearing will like go in and out and i'll get like really loud buzzing noises like throughout the day and it's never really concerned me because again it's been happening since i was a little kid so i never wanted to go to the doctor for it i do remember one time going to the doctor for it because like Plains and mountains and like even large hills really bother my ears and I just like I cannot get them to feel like they're popped or they're normal it just like is so much pressure and it's so painful like even driving to work I'm in a lot of pain because I go like up and down hills and 
I'm in Ohio. We don't have mountains here. So, but like I said, I never went to the doctor for it because I did have like a really traumatic experience when I was younger where I went to the ER and I was like young and they did something in my ear and it hurt so bad and I just never wanted anything ever to go wrong or like go to the doctor for my ears again. And I'm 29 now because I had my birthday a few weeks ago and I'm old. And um, I'm just now deciding, okay, I'll finally go to the doctor. Maybe there's stuff they can help with it. Maybe not. They're thinking it's probably um, Meniere's disease or whatever. It's not like life-threatening at all. I think the worst that happens is like your hearing can go out like as far as permanently like becoming deaf in one or both ears. But that's, I think, like a long ways down the road so i feel fine now uh my vertigo has passed thankfully they said it may happen frequently and it may never happen again so cross my fingers for never again um because that was just not a fun week at all nope it was not i'm thinking of cutting my hair leave me in the comments below i need to brush my hair but i'm thinking of maybe getting like a long lob so what would that look like? Maybe to here and up? I don't know. I don't know. It's just so long. And like I get cuts, like I'll get maybe three or four inches off at a time and then it'll just grow right back. So I might be ready to cut it. But I know last time I cut it, which I did a video and it was like me and my roommate and we had just terrible hair experiences because I didn't want it cut and they cut it off. But like it grew back so quickly and I'm at the point where I'm like, I think I am mentally ready for this because although it's a security blanket, I feel a little more secure with myself now than I was then. So, anywho, I'm gonna go finish my hair and make it look decent. And I will see you guys super soon in another video. I love you so much. Oh my gosh, hold on. I've been self tanning. I forgot. I wanted to tell you guys that. Um, Whitney Simmons, you guys know I'm obsessed with her, did a video on um, how to self tan. And the reason I don't self tan is because I'm like afraid of making myself look stupid. And she made me feel a little more comfortable. So I bought what I wanted was what she showed in the video, which is like this so you by SJ or it's something weird like that I think it's an Australian brand and of course like it's sold out everywhere now because she did the video and everyone wanted it so I just went on Sephora and went on the like the best rated um ow he got me good self tanning options <laughs> and the Tarte Glow Getter I think that's what it's called self tanning came up and I bought it and I tried it and I feel like it looks natural like it's not really dark it really only changed my I'm bleeding, my skin tone a few shades darker but I think it looks really natural I did mess up yesterday and I think I put too much on my hands because they look a little they're not like awful but like you can tell my nooks don't look the best but I've done this three times now and this is the first time where I messed my hands up so anyways I'm liking that I will update you I'm gonna try to find if you have any suggestions a dark self tanner that would get me even darker than this because I just I feel like this is a good winter tan but I'm gonna be a little darker in the summer when I'm like in my swimsuit and stuff okay that is it say goodbye one more time while you're just destroying me down there we will see you soon another video. Goodbye.